Deputy Chief Constable Maggie Blythe, a clearly man-hating, bigoted feminist, has come out with one of the most absurd statements I think I've ever heard. But before I tell you what it is, let's take her into account that Deb G Deputy Chief Constable Maggie Blythe was appointed a position in September 2021, a brand new and completely made up position within the National Police Chiefs Council, funded by the Home Office and the National Police Chiefs Council, which made her the lead for violence against women and girls and to coordinate police action across England and Wales in regards to violence against women and girls. She's responsible for agreeing and delivering a new police strategy that will focus on interventions to prevent violence, target perpetrators and allegedly help victims achieve justice. Although carefully worded not to include criminalise men by any means necessary. So, Deputy Chief Constable Maggie Blythe, speaking on the BBC last week, has said that sexual harassment includes sitting in rooms with more male officers than women. No, that's not a joke. That's exactly what the man-hating, bigoted feminist has said, and I think it's very dangerous. Although, let's face it, the police love to have dangerous people at the helm, as it shows the rest of the police just what they too can achieve if they also hold discriminatory and extremist views. Maggie Blythe was appointed the role in the wake of Sarah Everard's murder by serving police firearms and diplomatic protection command unit officer PC Wayne Cousins. Speaking on the BBC, Blythe said, I think any woman in any profession will say that they've experienced sexual harassment absolutely everywhere, but I've been massively supported in my role. I wouldn't be doing the job I'm in if I didn't believe in policing. You also wouldn't be in your role if uh, you were being discriminated against in such a manner as being force fed to the public over the past year or so. When asked to describe what incidents she had witnessed, she said, this is not about me, but I think sexual harassment is about sitting in rooms where you have more male officers than women. Where you're in a male dominated environment for any woman that's always challenging, but it's not misogynistic. Of course, it's not about you, which is why you make such an outlandish claim in order to make it about you. She said that while significant strides had been made in tackling violence against women and girls, it was important to remember that a woman was killed by a man every three days in the UK. But how many men are killed by women? How many men are killed by men or women killed by women? As police, you can't simply choose to jump on a bandwagon for some self-promoting idea while ignoring other crimes. Yes, one woman may well be killed by a man every three days, but that's nothing in comparison to the number of people killed overall. But while the police and politicians concentrate on misogynists, they are in fact failing to concentrate their efforts on the countless number of young people, young men and women dying at the hands of other young people. She said domestic abuse continued to make up 18% of all recorded crime in England and Wales and last year there were almost 200,000 sex offences reported and more than 70,000 rapes. But let's remember offences reported does not mean offences committed and as we know sure as shit doesn't mean offences where someone's been identified, charged and convicted as we know that number is pathetically low. So as the police and many of the bootlickers concentrate their woke efforts on grassing up and arresting men for offering to buy a woman a drink or holding a door open for them, simply because they are another man-hating bigot, the minority of us who haven't been sucked into the bullshit see with open eyes and horror the other crimes being committed that seemingly appear to be overlooked in favour of so-called hate crimes. I do think that the National Police Chiefs Council needs to have a bit of a word about the utterly stupid statement that Deputy Chief Constable Maggie Blythe has made, which in the ever-growing attempt to vilify men has to be one of the stupidest and most dangerous things I've heard from a copper's mouth.